Today I will tell you a story how I lost two whole accounts on leverage trading. So let's go to the video. What up guys, my name is Phil and welcome to our bucket list channel. Well, leverage trading is on my bucket list, so I want to learn it, I'm trying hard to learn it and if you want to see my full bucket list, it's in the description below. And as of today, I'm deeply, deeply in the red, so hopefully in the future I will be able to get it back, to get back my money. And I just want to share my way and my mistakes with you so maybe you can learn from it and be better at trading or maybe it will be better if you totally avoid it. For those of you who are new to this topic, let's answer the question what is leverage trading? When you are just buying Bitcoin, this is called trading on spot. You just take your Bitcoin or your currency or some stable coin and you exchange it for Bitcoin or maybe for another cryptocurrency. And today Bitcoin is approximately $32,000. So when you take $32,000 and buy Bitcoin for that, you have one Bitcoin. But now when you have leverage, that's another story. On spot, we can say that you have leverage 1x. In leverage trading, you can go even to 100x and on some exchanges even more. And what that means? So let's speak for example 10x uh, when you put uh, $100 into some trade in Bitcoin. So basically you buy Bitcoin uh, for $100, but there is a 10x leverage. So now you don't have $100, but $1,000. And when Bitcoin goes up for 1%, you've made 10% on your $100. So this sounds really good, right? When Bitcoin goes up 10%, it's like 100% already and you've doubled your money. But there is also another side of that. When Bitcoin drops 10% and you are 10x leverage, your position is now liquidated and you lost the whole amount of uh, your money or your Bitcoin put into this trade. So as you can see, it can get pretty risky. So there are two ways you can basically bet on Bitcoin that it will go up and it is called longing. And the other way, you can short Bitcoin and you are basically betting that Bitcoin will go down. Now let's move to the second topic and it will be actually how I started with leverage trading. So first I've started investing in cryptocurrencies. I've made a video about me and cryptocurrencies. And I've also started watching some cryptocurrency channels, some analysis, and uh, they've been talking about leverage trading and I didn't know anything about it. So I've started discovering more and more about leverage trading and I found out that you can make even more Bitcoin and more money. So I've started to watch more technical analysis, I start to watch Bitcoin graph and study uh, this whole leverage trading thing and I thought, yeah, that's easy, that looks like easy money. I've seen tutorials everywhere like 100 US dollars per day, this leverage trading method is easy, you can do it too. So I thought, yeah, well, let's do it. And I've started with eToro demo account where you have basically uh, fake money, we can say, but this was not it, it was not a proper feeling of trading, you know. There was no risk involved, no emotions, and I also did not make any money from that. And I wanted, you know, these juicy gains. And that was a first mistake. Or maybe not. So I've started to leverage trading on Binance, on Binance futures. And when I compare it to Etoro demo account, there on Etoro you don't feel that much emotions about your trades. It's just few numbers here and if you are in red or green it doesn't matter that much. But on Binance on the other hand or on the other exchanges it doesn't matter really. When you are slightly in red you start to feel a lot of emotions or even if you are on the green also you feel like oh my god it's working out and right now if you are telling yourself i can control myself i can control my emotions no you can't because i thought that too 
But what was really good point, I think, and this saved me even from uh, bigger losses, and it was that I started with small amount, it was really small amount, and I think if you want to try this, you should be starting also with small amount. But I was going crazy like 20 or 25x even from the start and this is not good. So I was trading, I was also trading before sleep and the trades were going during the night and I've managed to do 200% on one trade and I thought, oh my god, that's crazy, I'm pro trader now. But also a few days after, I hit like 80% loss or something like that. So, <laughs> no good, no good. I didn't even know what I was doing. And when I had big loss, I wanted to get it back. I thought that I will pump it up and I've uh, pumped up even the leverage and uh, risk and also everything. I just wanted to make it back. And this caused losing my first account. But don't worry, don't worry. I've started again for a second time. But I again started with smaller amount and I think if you start with a lot you will also lose a lot. And a lot of traders say that you need to lose before you gain a lot or something like that. So after that I thought okay I've lost the whole account, let's start again, it will be good now. I've learned uh, more techniques and more of a technical analysis and also started with lower leverage and I've started to feel more and more confident in those trades. But the same story followed. Even when I started to use a tool, which I use even now, it's called Market Cipher. And this is a really great tool because I use it till now. But still, I wasn't able to uh, do it properly. I didn't have the good strategy for trading. And again, I lost the whole account. But as I said, there was only a small amount. So I think I'm still good. So now let's sum it up a little bit. First, I was trading only based on some YouTubers signals or some groups or something like that. Then also breakout patterns, but this really don't work out for me, even right now. Then some random scalping strategies like based on moving averages and Bollinger Bands and a lot of other stuff. Then I found out this market cipher tool and I've combined it with the breakout. But this also didn't work out. I want to point out few mistakes here which you can avoid. I used really big leverage. I recommend you to stay under 10x. When I lost something, I immediately wanted to make it back. So I've jumped into another trade and this turned out to be a pretty huge mistake because the downtrend or an uptrend started to continue and I lost even more. And the main rule in trading is not to lose money. <laughs> as you can tell, I'm not following it. And I was also rushing uh, as crazy and it's not good when you are rushing in trading. It's not uh, get rich quick. Uh, you have to be really patient and wait for the great trading setup. And also you need to stick to one strategy, follow this strategy and you need to execute all trades like robot. Try to avoid emotions. I know it's hard, it's hard for me even now, but at least try to limit emotions. But this is not everything. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm trading again now for a third time. And now I'm really starting to feel more confident. I'm trading really conservatively now and I'm not taking huge losses and I'm like 50-50 now with uh, gains and losses. So we can say I'm almost on the same amount which I've deposited to my third account. So I've started to learn more and more, some new stuff, some new analysis, and I found really good strategy which fits me, which fits my style. And it's from Jason Casper, who is using Market Cipher also. And I am also watching CryptoFace, the creator of Market Cipher, and I'm learning from them. And I have to say, even after those losses, I really like leverage trading. So that's one point why I want to learn this method. And I think it's pretty good way how to make money wherever you are. And you don't need any customers. You don't need any employees. It's just you and your skills and just trading. But I thought that it's going to be easier than it is now. But still, I've learned something and I hope in the future I will be able to be successfully leverage trading. If you want to learn it, 
I think it will not be easy. A lot of traders lost their accounts and now they are trading like gods and they are making huge gains from that. But we will see. So this is it for today's video. I hope you learned something and before the end I would really appreciate if you can smash that subscribe button, like button and share this video with your friends so our bucket list squad gets bigger and bigger. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Well, let's... Uh, my white let's and right now if you are telling your, your but also few days and I think it's pretty good way to ta <laughs>